fire. You don't love God because you got hatred in your goddamn heart. You can roll your eyes all you want. Drop dead too at the same goddamn time. Right. You understand? Because we love our people out here. And we're we going to prove. That's why we're out here in these corners, man. If you claim you love God and you hate another black man, you are a goddamn liar. Just like Pastor Jenkins, Pastor Bryant, and, pa and Pastor, what's his name? What's the other Creflo Dollar and all of that? You know, what's another, what's that big head hippopotamus man's name? Uh, what's his name? T.D. Jakes. Those are all goddamn liars. You understand? They don't love another black man. You understand? And all you empresses and queens and all of that, you don't love, you don't, you don't love God. Whatever God you think you believe in, you don't love him either. Because you hate black men. You want to be so masculine and strong like a black man. You hate black men. You understand? And God said you are nothing but a stinking, filthy, disgusting, conniving, slippery, sliding liar. That's what God said. Read else. Right. For he that loveth not his brother whom he had not... Slug it. For he that loveth not his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God who he had not seen? How can, you, how can you hate the man that you see every day, but you claim you love God and you ain't never seen him in your goddamn life? You ain't never seen him in your life and you claim to love God so much, but the man you see every day, you hate his guts. You a liar. You can't see a man, be around a man, he be your neighbor, he go through the struggle with you, get up in a broken household just like you, and you hate his guts and claim you love God. You gonna get him and say some hum do what lie and all that garbage. You a goddamn filthy, disgusting liar, man. You understand? This Bible right here teaches you not to be a liar, but to love your brother, man. Teaches you not to be a liar. You understand? But to love your brother. Last scripture, give me a Psalms 31 and 1 real quick. Psalms 31 and 1. We're going to sum it up right here with this black man. You understand? You got to learn to love your brother, man. You can't say you love God and you ain't never seen him. You've never seen God in your life and claim to be a godly man and God know your heart. What about that black man, a black woman that grew up in the same broken household in the same disgusting, filthy slum as you? You don't think they know your heart? They would know your heart uh, way more than God, wouldn't they? You understand? Because they came from the same disgusting, filthy, stinking gutter as you. But you claim you love God, you ain't never seen him, and you can look at a black man and hate his goddamn guts. You can look at another Puerto Rican man and hate his guts. Who you see every goddamn day, and you claim to love God. You're a goddamn liar. According to the most high God, peace, brother. You know what I'm saying? According to the most high God, you are a filthy, disgusting liar. Read what you got. Psalms 31, verse 1. In thee, O oh Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. 133. 133 and 1. 133 and 1. Don't worry about it. All the scriptures, all the scriptures is right and on point. We're gonna stick to this right now. Black man, you better you better love another black man. You understand? You better learn to love another black man. Especially if you got a son. You got a son, you should know to love another black man. Because that's another black man, ain't it? Right. Ain't that another black man you raising? That's right. That's another black man you raising? How can you love him and hate another black man? Right. You understand? How can you do that? Black man, woman, and child, it's time for a new Harlem Renaissance. It's time for another one. It's time for us to love each other and start with the gentrification of Harlem. You understand? They coming in here taking over Harlem. They taking Harlem. Do you know the history of Harlem? Harlem is the black capital of America, man. Of the world. Jazz started here. Right. You understand? The arts and crafts, Lacey Hughes, CJ Madden Walker, all of them came from Harlem. First millionaires came from Harlem. Style and fashion came from Harlem. You understand? And we gonna let it go like that? We gonna let it slip out of our hands and slip out of our hands like that? Hell no. We're not gonna allow that, man. We're gonna go in these scriptures right here and we're gonna take Harlem back and take the earth back. Take the whole earth back. And we're gonna do it through brotherhood. Right. That's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Be black families, we're gonna start sticking together. And ain't gonna be no goddamn baby mamas and baby daddies. There's gonna be some husbands and wives in here. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna end that trash and that garbage, man. Right. We're the Israel School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Come out of one West 125th Street Hall in New York, man. On the command of Junior Honda. We got classes every single day between 7 and 9 p.m., 22 79 Third Ave. Don't be scared. Come on over there and get some of this brotherhood, man. You deserve it!
Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? With them the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord?